Picture this. The year is 18,000 BC. You just got done gnawing on the bones of your dead friend Gronk. His sacrifice will not be forgotten. You can hear your stomach growling from hunger. The weather has turned frigid and you're just about freezing to death. Just then, from around the edge of a glacier emerges a herd of mammoths. Now is your chance. You call upon your comrades to put up the good fight and attempt to take down one of the woolly beasts that's lumbering behind the herd. Your comrades load up their atlatls, and you ready your spear. Now is your time. You charge into the beast, which towers over you twice your height, and strike, piercing its furry hide with your spear, and it reacts, heaving its tusks at you in a side motion, connecting with your torso. You get sent flying back, hit the tundra, and everything goes dark. You awake. It's 2024. You have to defend yourself on social media. You've just made a racist remark and you're getting canceled by the woke mob. You, choosing freedom, stick into your mouth a loaded fire of ice ages. What an interesting time in Earth's history. I'm eager to get started, so without wasting any more of your fine folks' time, let's get into it. What exactly are ice ages? As we already know, an ice age is a time when the Earth has a lot of... Age? Fuck. And technically, we are still in an ice age, and have been for over 2 million years. You may think I'm smoking crack, but hear me out. The term ice age can have two definitions. The better known definition, by the average person, is that an ice age is when the mammoths were roaming the earth, and saber-toothed tigers hung out with ground sloths. The other meaning is more scientific, which covers a much longer span of time. It's the counter term to a hothouse, which, as you would expect, is a period where the earth is very hot with the average temperature being upwards of 85 to 90 degrees. For comparison, today's average global temp is around 59. You may ask, how do ice ageologists handle the difference between the two definitions? Simply put, scientists call what we know as ice ages, glacial periods, and the time between these, interglacial periods. These two have been moving in cycles for millions of years, which is why we are still technically in an ice age even today. Final point on this topic, moving back to average temperature, Logically speaking, it would only make sense that at its coldest, the last glacial period's average temp would be like, what, 20, 30 degrees? It was 46. The average global temp was just 13 degrees colder than today. And that alone made mile-thick ice sheets that literally compressed parts of North America into the Earth due to their sheer weight. Kind of cool, man. When was the Ice Age? The most recent glacial period took place from around 115,000 years ago to 11,700 years ago with peak coldness being around 20,000 years ago, which is dubbed by science folk as the last glacial maximum. Today, we are in an interglacial period, which has so far lasted over 11,000 years. Where was the Ice Age? Data from before the last glacial period is pretty scarce, so for this segment, we will just cover what is known in the most recent glacial period. Looking at a map, there are obviously tons of glaciers, but oh my god, Asia has a penis. The Earth contained at this time much less moisture, like your mom. This means more deserts and savannas, and less rainforests, and an overall colder and drier climate. This is not without a few exceptions, for example, in western North America. What we know today as the Great Salt Lake actually looks like a puddle compared to the giant Lake Bonneville that used to reside in its place. Looking at a satellite map of the area today shows that the Bonneville salt flats perfectly preserve the outline of where the lake used to be. Pretty cool. The last question I'm covering in this video is what the hell were humans up to? The last glacial period was a very foundational time for us two-legged apes, who decided that cold was actually cool. We had interbred and beat the hell out of the Neanderthals, who, as the ice age was roaring up, decided to genus tap out of the homo race. Humans during the last glacial period spent their time adapting to the ever-changing environment, sticking by the coast for food and stable temperatures, inventing bone needles and thread to sew clothes, utilizing land bridges to explore new areas, and so on. Safe to say, us sapiens were grinding back in the day. What the fuck did I even put that in for? Even now, ice ages are still a hot topic of debate, and we have so much to learn. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that mother freaking like button. And I want to wish you all a happy belated Columbus Day, or Indigenous Peoples Day, I don't judge, and probably happy Halloween. I hope to see you folks next time. Bye.